Eric O'Neill, Chevrolet Public Information Coordinator for the City of Dallas's Code Compliance Department, is back here again with Marissa Caggiano, the artist who is doing our mural on the move piece, which will be unveiled at the Majestic Theater this Tuesday. Um, Marissa, you've worked extremely hard on this piece. What did you learn for about yourself uh, being an artist doing something like this? Well, I learned that I could do it because <laughs> it was an extremely large piece. Um, kind of, yeah, it was it was definitely a challenge in a lot of ways, but, um, you know, any challenging situation will, you know, if you just stick with it, it'll show you what you can do. So I thought that was great. And I loved it. I loved the process of it. Um, um, but it is large, you know, and it is a month's time span. And of course, you have to account for weather and all these things. So, yeah, I think like working, you know, I had to work even on certain days just to make sure I was staying on schedule. Like it was windy some days and it was blowing my paint into other areas it wasn't supposed to go in. But it's like you just kind of have to, you know, roll with the punches and just keep it moving. And you said you love the process. What, what, part of the process is you love the most? Um, I get in the flow state when I work on paintings. So I just kind of lose track of time. And um, I'm just really in it. You know, I'm, I'm focused. I'm engulfed in it. And, you know, when you see my piece, I think you'll see I put a lot of detail in it. And those are the parts where I really, really get into it. You know, I started out this piece. I just had to prime the whole container. Um, you know, it's 54 feet in length total going around. And I, I'm not sh I think it's seven feet high. Um, but yeah, you know, just filling up that space, you know, you're with a roller and stuff. That's one thing. But then, you know, once I got the big areas of color, you know, and I could really paint um, Amber, who I featured in it, or like the flowers or um, even small details, like in the portrait, she is crying. And, you know, to paint the tears and like certain little things, it's kind of like a little, I don't know, I almost get like a little art high, if that makes sense. It's like you accomplish this little thing and then you feel like good about it. And you're like, hey, like I've done it before, but it still gives me this feeling of like, hey, I did that. Like, awesome. And have you ever created a piece of art on this type of scale and like this type of canvas? Because the, the containers uh, 20 by 7, I believe. So is that something that you've ever experienced with? not my, not just on my own so for the most part i did this on my own i had a little bit of help so one of my friends amanda delgado shout out to her she came out one day and she was super sweet she brought me like um a latte and like she brought me she just brought me some snacks and stuff and came and helped me and then my boyfriend aj um he helped me multiple days um and even his you know our friend reed and his mom they came out too so i don't want to say i did it all on my own because that wouldn't you know all those people bless them but um the only other time i worked on the scale was just assisting another muralist or working with another muralist so working on it on my own no i haven't done it you know for the most part on my own where it's like it's on me to get this done um you know and you know doing it outdoors you know, I've done more of an indoor indoor mural gig. So doing such a large scale outdoors and on a metal container, you know, I had to do some research to make sure I was getting the right paints, um, things that will add here, um, especially because it's, it's not just a wall, it's moving around. So I have to account for that too. So yeah, definitely a new experience. Great question. And now my last question would be if, if Marissa now, after the completion of the mural, could tell Marissa a month ago when she finds out that she's actually chosen to do this mural, what would you tell that Marissa then? Hmm. I would just tell her just take it one step at a time. And something big I learned about the process was you know, I tried to time everything out. Like when I first started, I was like, okay, I have, I would get there for the day and I'd be like, I need to have this done by noon and I have to have this done by 3 p.m. And what I found is like, it doesn't really work that way. Like just have some things that you want to get done for the day 
and just don't focus on the time. Because honestly, once you're painting, and this is, you know, just specific to the process of making art, it's more important to just be focused on the task. Do the task, complete it, and then move on. You know, um, I don't know. It's interesting. It, it, it Right brain versus left brain. I don't know where that sits, like, in the scientific world now. But, like, I feel like time is a very linear, like, left brain thing. And I think creating art, it's it's more right brain, so to speak. So, so yeah. I think um, overall, I would just tell myself, hey just you know you got this stick with it and and don't get too obsessive about every little increment of time just you know look at the bigger picture i guess cool marissa thank you again so much for creating this piece of art that will be seen throughout the city of dallas uh we can't wait to unveil it this week um you'll be there uh the code compliance arts and culture will all be there at the majestic theater uh, it's going to be a good time, and we can't wait for everyone to see the work that you put into this. So thank you again so much. Of course. Thank you. I'm honored to have completed it and worked with y'all.